precise order of operations when using bias tape to finish the edges of an armhole can vary significantly from project to project and from sewing pattern to sewing pattern. So I thought I should mention that this tutorial was designed specifically with New Look Pattern 6619 in mind. The instructions for this pattern tell us to pin the bias tape to the armhole edge, having raw edges even. Then the instructions tell us to sew with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I didn't like the results when I followed these instructions to the letter. Specifically, I found that my seam line around the bias tape was too deep into the bias tape all around. So I ripped out my stitches, devised a workaround, and then I made this video to share it with you. We begin with bias tape. This is half inch single fold bias tape, single fold because it's been folded one single time on each raw edge and half inch because it's half inch on this side. So bias tape like fabric has a right side and the wrong side. This is the right side and the part you see inside when it's folded out, that's the wrong side. Open out one side of this bias tape and I'm gonna lightly iron. Here's where my workaround starts to deviate from the pattern instructions. I want you to sew a row of stay stitches, so regular length stitches, a quarter inch away from the raw edges of the armhole. Then I want you to grab a pair of scissors and trim the seam allowance in half. In other words, I want you to shave off a 1 8 inch strip of fabric from all around the edge of the armhole. Take your time. Do your best to cut exactly down the center of the seam allowance. In other words, you're cutting exactly halfway in between the row of stitches and the raw edge of the armhole. When you're done, you should have 1 8 inch of fabric between your row of stay stitches and the raw edge of your armhole. Now take your bias tape, fold one end backwards, about a half inch, and line it up with the side seam right at the underarm. Now we're going to take a series of small pins and pin this bias tape all around the armhole, keeping the raw edge of the bias tape even with the raw edge of the armhole. You'll need to use plenty of pins, one about every inch to half inch or so. When you work your way back around to where you started, continue pinning and you're going to overlap the area where you started about a half inch. Right about there. And then I'll 
I'll pop one more pin in right there. To the left of my first pin. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew all around the armhole with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Now we're going to sew with a one quarter inch seam allowance all the way around and I'm going to keep the raw edge of my fabric in line with the right edge of my quarter inch sewing presser foot. For this step, I'm sewing with a regular straight stitch set at two length. So I'm gonna stitch all around this armhole in a continuous circle, overlapping my stitches a little bit where the stitches begin and end. Next, I'm going to take a moment to create a series of little clips all around the edge of the armhole, making sure that my clips do not go through my stitches. I'm going to get pretty close to my stitches, but I'm not going to cut through my stitches. Next, we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to understitch. So that means we're going to flip the bias tape onto itself, onto the seam allowance underneath. And we're going to go ahead and stitch close to the seam line on top of the bias tape all around. So we're essentially going to be sewing the bias tape to the seam allowances underneath. And that's gonna help hold everything together nicely when we eventually flip the bias tape to the inside of the armhole. Just like before, we're gonna start at the underarm area. As I work my way around, I'm gonna try very hard to keep my row of stitches just to the right of my seam line. check underneath periodically to make sure that my seam allowances are still flipped outwards towards the right. Done with your understitching, it should look something like this. The row of stitches running parallel to the edge of the bias tape. And on the inside, the seam allowance should be flipped towards the bias tapes, touching the bias tape. Mm -hmm. 
work with the garment wrong side out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the bias tape to the inside and pin it all around. Now we're gonna pay special attention to this underarm area where the two ends overlap. What you're gonna do, you hold it with the wrong side facing up like this, and you're gonna flip the top layer edge down like that over the under layer and then you're gonna flip the bias tape to the inside so that you get this smooth little edge right there all of the raw edges tucked underneath Continue working your way around, pinning the bias tape to the inside. As you do, roll the bias tape slightly to the inside so that you can see just a little bit of the outside fabric to the right of the bias tape. done pinning it should look something like this. Now you can take this to the sewing machine and baste close to this inner folded edge. Start and end your row of stitches at the underarm. Now we can turn the garment back to the right side. And at this point, you can see we have a row of long basting stitches all along the edge of this armhole. Now our job is gonna be to put this back in the sewing machine and sew with a regular stitch length from the outside just to the right of this row of basting stitches all around. Once again, we're gonna start at the underarm. Switch to a regular stitch length. Drop my needle at the underarm, just to the right of my basting stitches, and then start working my way around.
see that we have two rows of stitches on the outside. And so now we're gonna go ahead and grab a seam ripper and pull out just the basting stitches. And since the basting stitches are significantly longer than our regular stitches, they're pretty easy to see and kind of grab and pull out. When you're done, you should be left with a single row of vinyl stitches all around the perimeter of your armhole. You should not be able to see any bias tape on the outside, and you should see your bias tape all along the inside edge of the armhole. To finish, press all around. And here's a final peek at how it should look when you're all done. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.